Hey, Jeremy Rasmussen here, Abacode Chief Technology Officer. Just wanted to provide some uh, advice on being vigilant during the holidays. You know, hackers do not take a break during the holidays. Uh, you used to read about in World War I, you know, they would come out and they had armistice on either side in the, the trenches and they would come out and kick, kick a soccer ball around on Christmas Day. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, in this situation, hackers are actually stepping, stepping up their game during the holidays, and so you have to be even more aware than usual. A couple of things that they do, and by the way, uh, if you ever hire Abaco to come in and do a penetration test, we'll use these same you know, techniques, tactics, and processes ourselves to try to penetrate and probe your defenses. So, you know, we have a very good penetration testing team that will, will try all these tricks, but here's what happens is, Typically, they'll um, research a company, they'll do open source intelligence, so they'll look at the company's website or social media, they'll gather information about, say, a party that's happening or some event, and they'll use that as a pretext for an email that they're going to use, or else creating a website. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, in order to get you to open an email, look at it, click on a link, and then, you know, enter credentials or go to a site, it has to be you know, pretty well done, right? And so they'll do the background research to um, you know, figure out what's going on and make it very relevant to you. That's you know, the social engineering aspect of it. They'll also create maybe a sense of urgency. Oh, you know, here's what you're assigned to bring for the party or whatever. You know? or, or they'll say, um, oh, all holiday has been canceled due to you know, <laughs> financial cutbacks or budget cuts. And you know, they'll, they'll create a need and somebody will click on that link. What they've already done though is uh, what's called typo squatting. They'll uh, create, uh, they'll, they'll register a domain name that's off by one character from the real one. And then they'll clone uh, the website that looks legitimate or like I said, create what's called a watering hole attack, which means they um, have a website that has scintillating content on, on there or something that you know everybody wants to come there and see. And there's a couple of ways they'll get you. Um, either one, you're gonna enter your credentials on the site and then now they've got a copy of your user ID and password. Or um, they get you to click on a, a link that will take you to maybe a malicious download and you'll, you'll be like, oh, okay, should I do this or not? If in doubt, say no, right? <laughs> say no to that download. Um, in the watering hole attack, they're trying to get people to come there and again, click on malicious links uh, or you know maybe sell, they're selling spam or who knows. Uh, in some cases, they're just collecting credentials, right? They're creating interesting content. They want you to create a user ID and password, and then they know that a lot of people will reuse those. Uh, we don't want you to reuse your user ID and password. You should have a unique one for every site because once they have a copy of that, they can just uh, tr try what's called a password spray. They'll, they'll try all these compromised or collected passwords on a legitimate site and see if somebody reused, and odds are they're gonna find one that did. So these are some of the tricks that you're going to see out there. Be aware of them. Don't click on those links. Uh, when in doubt, if somebody's asking you to do something, give them a call. Uh, walk over to their desk and ask them, <laughs> did you send this? Is this legitimate? And uh, you know, have a great holiday season and stay safe out there.